Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. Um, if you would please make sure that you have your cellular devices turned off. We don't want no interruptions. We're here today to remember Rosalie Robbins. Robbins, excuse me, I'm a little, a little nervous here. <laughs> Rosalie Rollins, would you please all join me in a moment of silence and we have been prayer. Dear Lord, we're so grateful that you have made us all in your own image, giving us gifts and talents with which to serve you. Thank you for Rosalie's life and all the years we shared with her. We lift her to you today in honor of the good we saw in her and the love we felt from her. Please give us the strength to leave her in your care in the knowledge of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I now read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're here today to honor Rosalie Rollins, known to many of us as Mama Rose. <laughs> She was married to Guy Rollins for 24 years. After the divorce, they remained friends, and they raised three children, Donald James, Rhonda Kay, and Robert Wayne. Half of her ashes will go to Guy Rollins Memorial Little League baseball field located in Monroe Township, Cumberland County, Pennsylvania. The other half will be taken to be spread at the site of her parents' resting place in West Virginia. In her younger years, Rosalie was musically inclined and played the piano and the organ for the local churches. When she played, DJ said he remembers watching her and she would become one with the instrument and she would lose herself in her music. <coughs> She had a very wide range of musical tastes, from gospel to rock and roll. And, oh my, don't forget the bluegrass. <laughs> she was a breast cancer survivor, conquering it courageously. And thank you all for wearing the in honor of the breast cancer survivors around the world. God bless them. She was a spitfire of a woman. <laughs> I can attest to that. I can attest to that. A little side note that I didn't have written down here. Rosalie and DJ and Jay used to come out to our place once in a while and we'd sit around on the deck and she'd pet my, my dog and, and she loved being around the dog. And we, we had a little pond with some frogs and fish and everything. She loved just sitting there in peace and quiet on the <laughs> having a nice little meal with us. So that was fond memories. She was just at our place here within yeah. the last week. <laughs> so she's near and dear to my heart. She was a spitfire. Late in her life, long after her retirement age, she worked at Hardings in Mechanicsburg until the place closed down. 
From there, she went to being the coffee girl at the local sheets that was taking care of the coffee pots and making sure they were always filled and there was always hot coffee at sheets when you walked in there. Mama Rose touched so many lives. Whenever she walked into a room, there was always hugs and kisses. And her taxi driver, well, DJ there, we, we, we just tolerated him. <laughs> she was an avid dog lover. DJ said once he pulled up to the driver window where Mama Rose was working at, and his dog Egypt saw Mama Rose through the window, and the dog jumped out of the truck and through the through the drive-in window and uh, into the restaurant. And uh, yeah, she, the dog apparently scared the crap out of everybody in the restaurant. <laughs> Needless to say, Mama Rose took care of the situation. Doctors told Rosalie that her daughter Rhonda, at a very young age, had leukemia. Mama took that as not an option for her daughter. And through Mama's love, a child is here with us here today. <coughs> she said her son Robert was her wild child, and if he'd been the first, she wouldn't have had any more kids. <laughs> Robert's love for his mother was unparalleled, though, when, when she got divorced, um, he was beside her side, and uh, he, he was on her side, and she always was there for him, for the right advice for him. She always made sure that he made it to all his sporting events when he was younger, and as he got older in age, he, he worked with Mama Rose at the Hardee's for three and a half years. He's here, but apparently once there was a friend of DJ's called Chicken Man, and uh, he was Bruce Lee's taxi that day to give her a ride home. Well, she had a run in with the manager at the convenience store she worked at when she came out and told Chicken Man. Chicken Man said, hang on a minute, I got to go in for a pack of smokes. Well, needless to say, he sternly reminded the store manager that you don't mess with Mama Rose, she might not have a stranger. So she always had somebody looking out for her. And there, I have a poem I'd like to read. It's called The Whispering Wind. It's normal that you shed a tear when first I took my leave, but know that I'm happy here, no need for you to grieve. The beauty that's surrounding me would take your breath away. There's colors that can't describe the air's sweet bouquet. Don't worry about the things unsaid, there's nothing to forgive. Don't lay your heart upon the past, just let our moments live. And though your earthly eyes can't see, believe that I am there. Whenever you feel the whispering wind flow gently through your hair. I'm there when fireflies light the dark, my candles mark a year. I'm there when you are far from home and when you are near in a year. I'm always just a thought away, our souls could never part, connected for eternity forever in your heart. <coughs> yeah. If there's anything anybody else would like to add, uh, anybody has anything they'd like to say about Mama Rose, just, just a fond memory or anything that you'd like to share, please, now is the time. I'm opening the floor to you all. Sometimes will. When the road 
when you're trying to eat seem full of shit. When the funds are low, then the debts are high. And you want to smile, but you have to sigh. No carry is pressing you down a bit. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is clear with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about. When he might have won, have you stuck it up? Don't give up though, pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure, turn inside out. Silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near, but it seems so far. <coughs> Stick to the fight. When your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse, but you must not quit. That really resonated because God loves mom, but she's never quit. Up until the very morning she left us. Thank you all for me and sharing with your family. I was very blessed to be able to take care of her. And I was given the privilege to be sharing with you. And just remember, don't quit, because she didn't. She didn't quit smoking. <laughs> she didn't quit jerking. We all know that. Lord knows that she can out jerk this one. They all didn't fall too long in the tree. So don't cry for Smile and remember that you can keep your legacy alive. Because that's what she would want. And every time you take a drink, send it up to her. Thank you all very much for coming. We really, really appreciate it. She touched so many people's lives. Everybody that knew her knew how happy she was. She always had a smile for everybody. And that's the one and only person in this whole world that even when I was wrong, she had my back. She was always on my side. I'm blessed to have the mom that I did. <coughs> and I'm just going to miss the hell out of her. As I know all of you will. But just seeing everybody here, Her spirit will never die. It will be within all of you. I love you all. Thank you all for showing up. I mean that. Thank you. Hurrah. Hurrah. Yeah, no. 
a married guy. <laughs> Thank you. 